Hello and welcome to the intro to prefabs. In this video, I'll be showing you what a prefab is, why they're super dope, and how you can make your own. So firstly, prefabs are basically templates for game objects. So you can build up this game object, put all these components on it, and then make that whole thing into a reusable asset. It's more than likely you'll reuse a game object throughout your game, like say coins or health packs, and somewhere down the line you'll probably want to make a change to them. You decide blue coins are better than yellow ones. Well, if you were just copying and pasting this game object every time you needed it, you would have to go back and change every single one you copy pasted. The reason prefabs are super dope is because if that game object you wanted to change was a prefab, then you would only have to open up the prefab and change it once. That change would then be reflected in all the other copies of it throughout your game. And they're super easy to make, so let's make one. For this example, we can add in a sphere, throw an FSM on it, put a set material color action on it, make it red, Give this state a mouse down system event, which can then transition to the next state where we'll put another set material color, but this time we'll make it blue. Then send it back to the first state with another mouse down event. And let's say for whatever reason, we want this sphere to be resting on top of a little cube. We'll make this cube a child of the sphere. Kind of looks like a little block body with a perfectly spherical head. Very cute. Let's name this game object Lil Cutie. Now all you gotta do to turn this thing into a prefab is drag it into your assets. I already have a prefabs folder down here, so I'll just click it and drag it in here. See what happens there? The game object in the hierarchy and in my assets has turned blue. This is how you can recognize a prefab. And that's it, prefab created. You did it. You should be very proud of yourself. Now let's see it in action. We can drag and drop this prefab into the scene and it'll make a copy. We could drag a ton in here. The act of creating prefabs, whether you drag and drop them into the scene or if you spawn them during gameplay is called instantiating. So I've instantiated some of our little cuties here and if you select one of them, you can see in the inspector that they do in fact retain all the information we built into them. And if you hit play, you'll see that they all function just the same as well. But hang on, I hate red and blue. Changing that is as easy as opening up the prefab by double clicking on the asset. And now we are editing the prefab. I can go into the FSM here change the blue to green and the red to orange. Now back in the scene, if you hit play, you can see that making that change just the once has now affected all the instantiations of the prefab. And when a prefab is in a scene, it can be changed individually. So let's say we want to put this cube to the top of the sphere. So now it's like a floating head with a classic high top fade haircut. Call this game object kid and playmaker. These changes are just for the one. You'll see the others are unaffected. And even if we drag new ones in, they do not reflect those changes. However, if we did want every other instance to reflect those changes, you could select it and you could come up here to overrides and you can hit apply all. You can see that all our little cuties now have the same haircut. Today we learned that prefabs are templates for game objects and they save a ton of time by changing all their copies when you change the original. 
We learned how to make our own, how to make adjustments individually, and how to apply changes across the board. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.